Warning, the following video contains imagery, language, and humor of a graphic and adult nature. This video is in no way intended for children. But we know you little shit wheels are going to find a way to watch it anyway. Don't say we didn't try, because here at Game is Purgatory, we do give a fuck. What's going on gamers? Welcome back. We're going to be doing another installment of Friday Night Frights. But first things first, what we're going to do is we are going to announce the absolutely awesome launch of the Ladies of Gamers Purgatory. If you guys have not already done so, please go over and like them, subscribe to them. Look out for some of their content. They will be doing all sorts of different collabs and stuff like that. Today is we're going to continue on with our playthrough that we are doing through Days Gone. Okay, so if I remember correctly... Okay, if I remember correctly, we did loot everything in here. Yes, we did. So we are going to go climb the radio tower and we're going to restore some good old, uh, we're going to go and restore some, um, wavelength, broadcast strength to, uh, one of our friends. Hey Deke, you okay? You don't sound like And we also got to check yourself. on Boozer as well, but. It's, not, it's nothing. You know, I just let this drifter get the drop on me. Lucky for me, she was uh, out of ammo. You let her go, didn't you? Okay, yeah, fuck. Yes, yes, I let her go. One of these days, Deke, that code of yours is going to get you killed. Yeah, well, something's going to do it, right? Does it matter what? Deacon out. Jesus, what a climb. All right, let's see what the hell Boozer's talking about. We're right. Someone's on the mountain. I see smoke from their campfire. Oh, son of a bitch. I knew I heard something. Where are they? I'm gonna head out there. No, God damn it, Boozer. Gotta get your arm healed up so we can ride the hell out of here. I'll take care of him. Try to stay awake in case they head your way. Deacon out. Always want to make sure that you are grabbing as much items as you can. Heading down. Oh, Jesus. I gotta get in shape. <clears throat> Do not take my uh, silence as me not being attentive. I will try to be attentive as you guys come into the stream. If you guys Almost do come there. into the stream, yeah, on, and if you are viewing there. the out there at uh, YouTube, I will try my best to maintain a little bit of conversation and my thoughts on the game. Oh, I am shit's killing me. still trying to fight off something that I have uh, been fighting off for the last couple days. So... <clears throat> Oh boy. Glad that decided it uh, was going to fix itself because that would have kind of been a little crappy. Let's 
St. John to Copeland's camp. It's done. The radio tower's locked down. I've restored your radio buffling. Copy that. You may not see the value in the St. John, but Radio Free Oregon is the only thing keeping us from turning into savages. <laughs> now, Cope, the only thing keeping us from turning into savages is about nine square meals. Try going hungry for three days. There's no such thing as a starving patriot. Well, sir, I hope to God you're wrong about that. Copeland out. Radio Free Oregon. Jesus, what have I done? Too bad. So, Cope, not today. Booze man, you awake? I'm uh, heading to that camp you spotted north of the mountain. Uh, I heard gunshots. Uh, it might be an ambush camp. Find out when I get there. Dig it out. Man, you were right. They set up along the railroad tracks. Kill every one of the sons of bitches. That was kind of the plan. Deacon out. I was hoping to find some twigs. <laughs> hey, what's up? How's it going, Hardcore? Not too much, buddy. Not too much. I'll take this. Hmm. Heck yeah, man. Heck yeah. Yes, it is, sir. What's that sound? Where the hell did he go? like 
Coming. That's the last of them. Stay the hell off O'Leary Mountain. Yes, yes. Uh, All right, everybody, we're back up. Thanks, brother. Deacon out. I'm sorry about that. Deke. Oh, God damn it. I'm sick and tired of drifters coming in my camp, killing folk like we were out in the shit. What's going on, Cope? A man come in, drugged out of his mind, shot the place up, then he just took off. Then he said... Now I might be able to catch up to him. I want him alive, Deke. Alive? Alive. You catch him. Then radio me. We'll fetch him and hang the bastard right from that limb. It's time we start showing these drifter sons of bitches that we have law and order in this camp. No offense meant to yourself. None taken. I'll find him. Heading down to that logging camp, clear out those nests. I'm gonna see more freaks up here. A boozer? No, no, you're gonna get yourself killed. Uh, you gotta wait till you're whole, brother. Uh, I'm over here anyway, so I'll take care of the nests, okay? Yeah, okay. Thanks, Deke. Uh, Deke, wait till tonight. Be fewer freaks inside those nests. 
Or take them out while it's still light out. There'll be more of them, but they won't be as strong. <laughs> Good. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. This Earth is a... all to use as we see fit to provide for ourselves and our families i'm not saying this it's the lord that gave us dominion over it but that wasn't enough for some men they wanted more when our fuel got low they jacked up the prices so they could consolidate power into their own hands <laughs> so god damn it to build dams for electricity but their precious runs of salmon were more important than heating our homes. We wanted to cut a few trees to build those homes. That should do the it. nests of a few spotted owls were more important than the entire timber industry. Now that the feds have gone to ground, let's just say we've eliminated the middle name. No one can stop us from taking what's rightfully ours. This is Mark Cooper for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Thing is, Coke, fuel prices have actually come down lately. Way down. Only problem is you gotta find it yourself. And last I checked, there's plenty of assholes out here trying to take what's rightfully ours. Another nest zone. I gotta burn this shit down, make it safer.
Weeping Angel. This has got to be it. Now, where'd you hide the stash, Leon? It's interesting. Which way? Huh, maybe in one of these. <laughs> got it. Now I just gotta figure out who I'm gonna give this to. Man, are you listening? Uh, oh, you're not gonna believe this. I just saw a goddamn chopper. A, a chopper? What, what are you talking about? A near a chopper. It, it just buzzed right over me. It acted like I wasn't even there. All this time and a fed chopper shows up out of nowhere. Yeah, I'm gonna chase them down and I'm uh, uh, I'm gonna see what the hell they're doing. Hey, Deke. Be careful. Don't get too close till you know what the hell they're doing. Don't do anything stupid. Hell no, I'm not gonna do anything stupid. They're slowing down. Looks like they're stopping. Thank you. 
researcher. What the hell are they doing out here? Gotta go check. See what they're doing. All right, gotta go in quiet. If they see me, I'm dead. Bring the freaks out. Shit. Wonder how long this will take. Yep. Too damn long. That's how long. Yeah, you better you hear that? check that out. Stay in the shrubs. They can't see. After tracking a large moving group, estimated size of five to six hundred, we have confirmed the subject's hibernation location at. Hey, Doc, I see Site 23 on the roster for tomorrow. That us? No, that's O'Brien. Perimeter alarm. Location at the High Desert Grotto, now designated Site 15. Trampling of grasses and plants at the entrance and the presence of footprints, see attached photos, indicate the site has been used for some time. Must be nice and cozy in there. According to the motion sensor planted by Lieutenant O'Brien, approximately 447 subjects have entered the cave this morning. Recommend sending a follow-up team sometime after 1900 hours to assess the cave's interior and further assess conditions. Note to Dr. Anderson. Your theory about the subjects devolving to a primitive state of nocturnal behavior is seeming more appealing all the time. End report. Not going inside. Fucking O'Brien. Did you hear me? Over He's 400 subjects. Yet. And these aren't just your regular run-of-the-mill freaks. These are camp. stage three. Then what They're sleeping like babies. Sarah. No, no, no. And I asked if you were going can't, in. Can't be. Didn't say I was. When these subjects are not sleeping. They're hibernating. Ever woken up a hibernating bear? No. <sighs> Ever woken up a hibernating freak? Yeah, actually. I was one of the survivors at the White King mine. Jesus. Someone tear my buddy apart like he was peeling a banana. These suits protect you from a lot of shit. But not them. Holy shit, Corporal. Jesus, I'm... I'm sorry. That mission was FUBAR from the start. Which is why we are not going inside there. I think if I sealed up this cave, we'd, I don't know, knock down their population. I don't know, Corporal. A lot of caves out here. Come on, let's get out of here. Sealed the caves. Yeah, right, like anyone gives a damn. Stay low, stay low. So we learned more information about Brian. O'Brien. We're falling out! <coughs> load up! Load up! Move, move through! Go, go, go! Let's go!
How's it going? We are playing Days Gone. Boozer, you there? Booze man, come back. Deep. Hey, I'm here. We wrote in a farewell. The Nero guy, the soldier, or whatever the hell he was, who took Sarah. Wait, what, what are you... He had an ID badge. What was the name? Oh, God, O'Brien. He wouldn't shut up about it. All the way out to Three Finger Jack. Hey, he's alive, Boozer. He's alive. There, the whole camp was wiped out. No, I know that, but I heard. Okay, look, I went into their LZ, and they. Wait, wait, you, you went into their LZ? What the? Just listen to me. I heard them over the radio. They were talking about a man named O'Brien. Pink, don't. Not, Boozer. I'm not. I'm just. Hey, uh, get some sleep. Take it out. Take care of it, Alvarez. I mean. Thanks, brother. She did the same for us. Yeah, she would have. Get out. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. The start of this living hell that is now our life came as a surprise to no one who was listening to me when shit went down. And I was one of the few. Most who spoke out against the feds, well, things didn't go so great for them. The cemeteries are filled with martyrs. Those who sought to call out the bullshit and the lies when they saw it. I know, because they came after me. I started Radio Free Oregon in the last weeks before the feds fell. Broadcast. From an unmarked van, moving from town. Hmm. left behind this time. Here's the generator. Uh, here we go. Never gets old. <laughs> I 
feels. Yes. Oh, God damn it. Fuse blown. Ah, now we're in business. I'll let you do it. You gotta do something real quick before we end up having all the freakers on the planet come down on us. Gonna bring them all down on me. This area is under martial law. Do not resist Nero or local law enforcement. Stay in line. Good commands. That's all of them. Yeah. Oops. What the? Oh. Spoil it for me. The refugee camp's full. What are we gonna do? I don't know about you, but I got a plan. Man, what are you talking about? I don't understand. No! No, no, no! What? Ah! Oh, Jesus Christ. So many people. Oh, it's like Boozer said. Hell of a way to go. Backed up at these checkpoints. Oh god damn it, I saw it the last second. Ah! 
really? That was easy. I'll take that. Deer crossing, you know, there was a time where that was a bad idea, and you know what? It still is. Nests. I gotta clear them out. I gotta make it safer to ride through here. I'll come back later, finish burning out these nests. Tucker, Alki. Over at the dig site. Well, which one, goddammit? The north one. Back there. If anybody touches this bike, or anything on it, I break your fingers. Whatever, man. Jesus. I keep telling you, everywhere you look, it's all one giant lava field. 25 feet solid rock. It'll take jackhammers to... I don't need a lecture, goddammit. I get it. No, you don't. But these people are hungry. Even if they had all their strength. It'll take them months to finish this job with picks and shovels. I don't give a shit! We're all hungry, Al. But this job's got to get done whether it takes all goddamn year. It's not like we got somewhere else to be now, do we? Wait. I'm not finished. We'll make it quick, we get Al. I got things to do. Rippers. This morning, one of my men spotted a large group of them coming over the pass. And no one stopped them? How the f... Tucker, you know we're already spread thin. Are, are they headed north? Al! Are they headed towards us? Yes or no? I... I don't know. Maybe he knows. <laughs> what the fuck are you oh. up to now, huh? What's this about, huh? Damn it, Alkai. It's not his job to know. It's your goddamn job to know. I can't be at two places at one time. You're the one me here, running your dig? Or you want me out there in the shit? Chasing the rippers. Go check the store, see how much ammo we got left. 
I'll tell Wheeler to watch the dig. What are you looking at? Oh, I don't know, I'm just waiting for you to smarten the fuck up. Don't! Did you track down Leon? Good thing someone around here knows how to make things happen. Ride with me. How long has it been since you found someone, brought him in? The kind of people left out in the shit aren't the kind of people you want me bringing in. We lost two more to the feet. Get back to work already. It's Don't not my problem. You, again. you want our food? Work. I'm making it your problem. I told you we'll do runs for you, but we're not joining your goddamn camp. Remind me again, my old woman's memory. Why is that? <laughs> because it's a waste of time, Tuck. <laughs> well, aren't you the optimist? Where's Boozer? He said he was gonna head over to Copeland's camp, see about trading for some fish. You're not in bed with Cope now, are you? His camp near yours? It's not closer or further. Look, I'm not Boozer's old lady. He goes where he wants. Jesus, you keep the shit burning all day and night. Got a lot of freak corpses piling up out here. With men like you doing your jobs, damn right we keep it burning. Try using more gasoline. It burns faster, less fumes. Like we got so much to spare? When it's all gone, what are you gonna put in that bike of yours, spit and sweat? Now what the hell is going on here? The count's off. Storage is missing food and some ammo. Jesus, who was on watch last night? Wheeler. Tonight, double the watch. This shit's starting to piss me off. You got it. Trouble in paradise? It's like I was saying. Camp's like a prison. Bunch of goddamn lazy liars, thieves, rapists, and murderers. You know why that is? No idea. Cause that's who we are. The freak show. Only folks survived were those mean enough, <clears throat> nasty enough to out-freak the freaks. The rest are here. Hoping I feed them, protect them, keep them nice and cozy and warm, so they can sit on their asses and watch the world end. You! Get your ass back to work! Don't make me go get Cyrus! Lazy sons of bitches. Can screw around all they like on their time. Daytime is my time. Running this camp is no different than running a prison. I can't remember what you said. You were... you were what? You were a warden or something? Huh. <laughs> Nothing so high and mighty. I was matron of the women's ward. You look like the sort who might have spent some time in the pen, back in the day. You ever do time? I had my share of trouble, but I never landed in K-State. I got a job for you. Larson was on a run yesterday. Passed through Marion Fork, said he saw someone. Young woman looked like, but he only caught a glance. He stopped to look around, but he never found her. Is he sure? Larson's been doing this long as you. He knows a person from a freak. But you got a knack for this. You head over there and find her before the freaks do. I'll see what I can do. But look, Tuck, I want the rest of my credits. For Leon. You bring me warm bodies, I'll give you all the credits you can spend. I gotta go find Wheeler. Someone's looking at a night in the shack. Alkai. What do you want, Drifter? What's your problem? Hmm? One of my men uh, escaped a ripper camp over by Iron Butte. Got tortured, like they always do. But this time they kept asking me if he knew about it. Two bikers, two men, asking me if he'd ever seen them or heard of them. A lot of bikes around here. What's it, <laughs> what's it got to do with me? The Ripper called them mongrels. How many drifters still flying colors around here? As if that shit matters. If you ask me, you got a price on your head. How's it feel to be on the other side? I want you to just show me what you got because I don't have time for your bullshit. Whatever you say, Deke.
All right. I see how it is. Hey there. Hey, uh, I haven't seen Boozer around much lately. Yeah, he's around. I guess he's just been doing more work for Copeland lately. <laughs> you tell him I said get off his ass and do some work for me. Yeah, I'll let him know. Yep. Yeah, later. That's all I got. Now I just gotta figure out who I'm gonna give this to. We can't head north until I get this get bike to fixed up. Now. Copeland it is. Here for your bike? See you around. Shit, someone needs help. More bounties. Hey, hey, hey. It's okay. You wanna die out here? Look, there's a camp that... Yeah, yeah. I'll go. I'll go. Peaceful Lake. Mark Copeland. It's safe there. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I thought I was going to die. Uh, oh. Tell him it was St. John, Deacon. They know who I am. Okay, keep running, stay out of sight. St. John, this is Copeland. I haven't seen Boozer in a few days. He used to do runs for me, is all. I know you ride with him. You try to radio him, but you can't seem to reach him. When you see him, you tell him to swing by and say hello to Copeland. Much appreciated. Copeland out. John. 
John Tucker to Deacon St. John. We got a job for you. Hey, Tucker. Okay, I'll stop by when I can. Deacon out. Yeah. Tucker to Deacon St. John. Are you listening? I talked to Alki the other day, and some of the other men. I know you've been doing runs for the camp. I just wanted to say thank you. Yeah. Ah, that's right. I gotta finish burning out this infestation zone. Deacon St. John, this is Tucker. Like I said before, I haven't seen Blizzard Sweet Face around these last few days. You sure he's alright? So, uh, what, what were you saying? Deacon St. John, this is Tucker. Like I said before, I haven't seen Bruiser Sweet Face around these last few days. You sure he's all right? Mrs. Deacon, Boozer's fine. Like I said, he's just been busy. Doing runs for that son of a bitch, Mark Copeland, no doubt. I get the feeling he doesn't like me much. Boozer, I mean. Like I said, I mean this old lady peeking out. <laughs> Nice headshot. Use this. Can use this. Okay.
Finally, Jesus. Hey, Cope, this man I track it down. Who do we kill? Why do you care? It's just another bounty job, isn't it? Now, look, I don't care. I just want to know their names. Who, Cope? One of them is a man named Randall. Been with the camp almost a year. I didn't know the other two. You want me to ask? I guess not. You find that son of a bitch, you radio me. Copeland out. <laughs> Yep. Hmm, I bet that blows up real good. Oh, uh, yeah. Nah, nah, you gotta leave the bike out here, Deke, or it'll pull all of them down on you.
you like that, huh? Come on, you sons of bitches, come on! Yourself at once. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the hell are you doing? Huh? This place is. Damn. God damn it. Could make something out of this. Oh! <laughs> 
More bounties. Okay, here we go. Got it. Okay. God damn it, what you all shit yourself at once? Jesus Christ. Oh, goddamn freaks. What the hell are you doing in here? Huh? This place is a death trap. Oh, oh shit!
Is that the last of them? Cleared those nests. Should be less freaks on the mountain from now on. Hey, Deke. How'd it go? Were there, were there a lot of them? Nah, it wasn't too bad. That's why I wanted to take them on while it's dark. How's it going, all gaming? Good to see you. Strong as hell, though. Yeah. Cold makes them stronger. <laughs> uh, you were saying something? Yeah, yeah, Boozer, I knew that. Guess it's shut eye, Boozer. Peeking out. I'm glad it's going good for you. Probably thirsty. I'll refuel you nice and good. This girl could use a tuna. For those of you watching on Twitch, make sure you hit that follow and share button. It helps out more than you realize. Head on over to our YouTube main page. There you can find all of our edited videos. Thumbs up the ones you like, or there is that thumbs down option, but I do not recommend it. We have that guy over in the UK named Corvus who likes to cut a bitch. 
Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, flicker ding dong, so that way you don't miss out on more kick ass content from me and the Gamers Purgatory crew. And until our next video or podcast, I will see you.